Greetings to you all, and welcome back to Let's Play Advanced Wars with me, Otago Omega, and this strapping young gentleman. Welcome. Andy doesn't know who he is. We'll let him introduce himself. He's Max, a CEO in the Orange Star Army. He is Andy's superior. Well, I guess they're equal rank, but he's been here longer. Max is a very simple, brute force kind of CO. He doesn't like to think his brain can't handle it. Time for me to choose who's going to take to the command on the front lines. Max, my, my good man, you know who I'm going to pick. Andy, no one cares what you want. Max, this looks tough. I need a solid general in order to conquer this tough piece of terrain. Bring out the pros. Let's get serious. Very familiar with Nell. Max has been fighting for Orange Star for a long time. He knows all the commanders. He knows how to play. Uh, I mean, fight battles. Serious people are dying here. It's not a game. Nell doesn't need to give this guy any tutorials. She knows what he's capable of. Allow me to show you the power that is Max. Let's get some intel. So Max, Mr. Direct Combat. He's your tank man. You want someone to brute force, hammer, punch someone down? You got a Max. What's his disadvantage? His indirect units, his ranged units, are very weak. And when I say very weak, oh, you don't have the first idea just how bad this man is. Apparently he's very overprotective of Sammy and Andy. Sammy we haven't met. Andy he's literally just met. He's overprotective of him, okay? Right. So, you remember how the artillery shoots between two and three for its rangers. And that's your grit, in which case you can shoot up to four. Fantastic. Welcome to Max's range. The man is a shambles. So Max being weak with ranged attacks actually means well firstly they do less damage but far more importantly he has one less range on any ranged unit than normal grit has one extra range max has one reduced range this means he sucks because ranged units are basically the most powerful unit in the game to make up for this he has stronger direct combat units so his tanks are very good his submarines are good Allow me to demonstrate the power of the submarine. As I attack this mysterious ship. I didn't say what this was, I just started highlighting its attack range. This is a battleship. It is the naval rocket, if you like. Except it has even better range. I should highlight someone who actually has a good battleship. Look at that range. Fantastic. Look at this range. Makes you cry. But these subs are going to have to protect us. We could try something fancy. Tactics aren't Max's strong point, but that's what I'm here for. This is a lander. It is a transport ship. It is essentially an APC that can go on the sea. But it doesn't restock or rearm. So it's more like a transport copter that goes on the sea. Now I have a question for you. How many soldiers could you fit in a giant ship? If you guessed one, you're wrong! A lander can actually hold two units. Fantastic. Now I notice I don't have any bases at all. Which means i got to win this fight with what I've got. My opponent also has no bases, so this is a straight up fight. I can safely attack this medium tank. Behold the power of Max's medium tank. It can get slightly better than that. There is another general who I believe has stronger tanks than Max does. We'll be seeing him later on. But for now, and for the bulk of the game, Max is where it's at if you want to fight with tanks.
Should I be capturing this city? I mean, I can do. It gives me a nice repair spot, I suppose. Near the front lines. Artillery with Max, that's a shameful thing. We did so much damage on our first turn that we've already given Olaf his super. Maybe some bombers in the sky? No? Olaf and Max are quite evenly matched in the cognitive department. Oh no. How could you? Not my APC. Why do you always target my APCs? Every time. You would literally do better if you targeted an infantry. Normally I'd be disappointed at seeing my rocket take damage there, but come on, I'm playing max, I don't care. Right, max, time to fight back. What do you got? Now, just because his indirect units are weaker doesn't mean they're completely useless. They're still okay. Well, some of them. The battleship is still okay. It does less damage, it has less range, which generally makes it completely unusable because in a real game, if I can get battleships, you can get battleships, and then I'll just lose the fight. But in campaign levels, maybe I've got a battleship and the computer doesn't have anything, in which case the battleship's still really good. Surprisingly enough, Max's best unit probably isn't the medium tank, it's the bomber. Now, there's some debate about whether or not bombs are direct combat. But in this game, they are considered direct combat because you have to be on the adjacent tile in order to attack the target. That's all the game cares about. Which means his bombers get buffed as well. And they are very, very powerful. Do I want to use my superpower here? Probably not. There isn't much for me to kill. I'd rather save my superpower to hit this. Where can this reach? Nowhere important. Let's take a moment to clear up any th misconceptions people may have about percentages. So when you attack someone, the damage percent that you can see there, 62, tells you how much damage you are expected to deal. Not guaranteed to deal, expected to deal. 62 represents 62% of the entire stack of that unit. So if it had 10 health, you would expect to deal 62% of that 10 health. Or in other words, 6.2 damage. Basically every 10% means one point on the thing that's actually tracked in game. So when I control this and I look over here, I say, oh, I'm going to kill five of these infantry. If I attack this one, it's going to be four or five somewhere in that region. Now, it's not consistent because of a little something called luck. Every character has a bit of luck. Certain characters have boosted luck. When I say certain characters, I mean Nell. There are other characters in later games who also have different luck, but in this game it's just Nell, I think. She has better luck than your average commander, than anyone else. But what luck does is it has a random chance to add additional damage on to the end of your attack. I believe there is also a chance to reduce your damage dealt from negative luck. But it very rarely comes into play. This is expected to do 8 damage. It did 8. And if you look at the bar, you can kind of work out how much it did. It looked like it did about 82, 83. 
But hey ho. Near enough. If it says 40 something percent, it's gonna do four. If it says 48 percent or or above, it might do five on your average character. Not guaranteed to, but it has a chance. Nell is so ridiculous that if she attacks with a unit that has 0% damage, she can kill... Tw she can deal like 20% damage or something. Her power makes no sense. I won't get into the details, but it's because of the way luck is calculated. It's not a... It doesn't multiply your damage dealt by a bit. It's just flat add some numbers on top. So even if your attack is really weak, if you have good luck, you can do good damage. Very bizarre. Anyway. That's a bit too technical. Far too technical for Max. It's time for Max Force. Max Smash. Show them what you can do, Max. Show them the power of medium tank versus medium tank. Not only that. I will fight from the 10% defense boost off the grass. He will fight from the 20% defense boost of the trees. Lo and behold. I do slightly more damage than before. Yes, the power of Max. Slight improvements here, slight improvements there. Honestly, against the AI, he's not that bad, because you can you can make no artillery work by outmaneuvering them and whatnot. But uh, in a real game, against a human, I would think twice before picking Max. If I put against the AI, he's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with him. It just changes your playstyle a bit. If I had a base, I wouldn't be building ranged units. I'd be building more tanks than usual. It's fine. It works. So this thing is going to shoot at either this one or this one, which is going to deal quite a bit of damage, but it's not going to be enough to matter. Also winning the naval battle over here. Can you finish off one of these for me? Yes, thank you. Now, you remember before I said that the bombers drop up to five bombs depending on their health? The battleship has five cannons, you might have noticed. And depending on how damaged it is, is how many cannons it fires from. Neat little way of making the battleship do less damage, even though it's only one unit. As you can see, same with the sub, it shoots five torpedoes. If it was damaged, it would shoot fewer. They thought of everything in this game. Surprise. We're going for the capture. Although it doesn't matter, because... Max's force literally can't beat me. I could sit on my battleship till the end of time. Wait, that's not true. I'd run out of fuel. I could protect my APC with my battleship and sit on the coast until the end of time. And he could never win. Which will be satisfying, but we drank the video out unnecessarily. So instead, we're just going to crush him. Also, he decided to drive in range of my artillery. Feel the damage. Look at that. Usually that would do about 40%. Not for Max. Max is lucky he even managed to aim the thing. Wait, you can't reach, can you? No. Silly me, I thought. 
I thought Max's artillery could reach something. Oh, how we laughed. Yes, cry, Olaf. Now, the computer doesn't know how to concede. So there is no quick way of ending this. The quickest way of ending this is just to kill all of his units. We could capture his base, but it would take more turns than killing his units. So, unless I'm making a big mistake, which I'm not, that artillery is literally the only thing left. Say hello to the sun. Don't run, please. Thank you. I'm not sure why you're grinning or why I'm sweating. We all know how this is going to end, Olaf. Good day, good sir. I shall meet you on the battlefield yet again. In the next episode, I'm sure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to gloat. That's right, Andy. Whoa, now that's a pithy comeback. Don't don't back him up. Should you should you be saying this? Andy is a junior officer. He needs to learn to respect Max. This is not helping. Exactly. You tell him, Max. Only a coward attacks from range. Real men, they stand there and they take the bullets head on. And then after that troop dies, they follow up with a second troop. And hope that one does a bit better. No, Andy, she was talking to both of us. Silly Andy, he has so much to learn. Unlike Max, who has mastered combat. Hence the S rank. Rank me up. Fantastic, I'm made of jade now. And Andy's mission can just go to hell. We're not doing that one. Right, we've taken back our terrain. Orange Star is ours, as you can tell by the terribly written handwriting. Seriously, look at this. Look. This says orange star f f f fades. No idea what this says. Looks like E A D C A. But this say orange star, okay? And this says blue moon. Fadke. You can also see the other nations, by the way. Green Earth, Fadke, and Yellow Comet. No Fadke. But hey, we've taken back Orange Star. You know what that means? It's time we took the fight to Blue Moon themselves in the next video. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I shall see you then.